Action. Action. <laughs> okay. So a friend of mine, uh, Dan, was wondering why we have different stages of fermentation. This is a beer that we started um, fermenting yesterday, and it's in a primary fermenter. This can hold six gallons of liquid, but we've only got about four and a half gallons in there. And it is really active right now. There's a lot of foam. That foam could clog up this airlock, and then it can't relieve the pressure of the CO2 buildup, and it would explode. So that's why we have it in a six gallon, six and a half gallon fermenter. Um, and it's okay to have this amount of headspace here because um, the, that yeast is filling this up with CO2 at an incredible rate. Um, eventually, the yeast will start dying off in about a week, and from the amount of alcohol that they're producing, um, and so they won't be able to maintain that CO2 production. So we'll transfer it, called racking, to a five gallon fermenter, which has a lot less headspace that needs to be filled up with CO2. The reason why we want this to be CO2 is because if there's oxygen in there, aerobic bacteria can turn that alcohol into vinegar. This is a uh, apple wine um, that's been in uh, secondary fermentation for about two weeks now. Um, and so that could have been made into cider. There's not that much of a difference between the two. Um, it's got, it was made with a white wine yeast. And so it'll probably be a little bit drier. 